Welcome into our NFL Draft Player Spotlight. Locked on NFL Draft coverage is presented by Ultimate Football GM. If you think you can run an NFL franchise, you can prove it by visiting ultimate-gm.com to play the Ultimate NFL GM simulation game. Start your dynasty today. I'm Kainani Stevens, joined by Jay Stevens from Locked On Buckeyes. And when we talk about the NFL draft, we are always, always, always going to talk about Ohio State. So first and foremost, we will start off with CJ Stroud because obviously he's in the running for the number one pick. Um, people go back and forth between him and Bryce Young. You know, what are the differences? What makes him elite and what makes him to the point that he should be the number one? When you watch him play football and simply just throw the football, he's one of the guys that wows me the most because he does elite things consistently. I say it all the time, saw it in the, in the combine, the pro day. The thing that wowed me the most about him is that he plays at this level all the time, and he can make every throw consistently. He can put touch on the ball consistently with velocity as well. And so the fact that he's able to do that all the time should – it might cause people to be a little – um, passive with it, like, oh, it, it looks normal. For him, it looks normal. <laughs> it's not normal for everybody else. And so if you want an elite passer or a guy who can make every throw consistently all over the field, that's C.J. Stroud. And that's why I do believe he should be in the running for the number one overall pick. If the knock is that he makes it look easy, that should be not a knock at all because that just means he's really talented. Um, when you go either the one seed or two seed, wherever he ends up going, you don't always end up on a great team. So – how how difficult do you feel like it might be for him going from college where he's playing with, you know, an embarrassment of riches around him to a place where he may not have a lot of support right out of the gate? It's going to be difficult no matter where he goes. Now, I did talk to someone that said they think the Indianapolis Colts would be a great fit for Stroud in year one. OK, great. But the Colts still have some issues. If you go yeah. to Carolina, they have a new head coach. If you go to Houston, they have issues as well. So there are teams that may be landing spots for Stroud. And going there is going to be hard for him, but you're going from college. You talk about the amount of talent Ohio State has. That's that's a luxury to be able to throw the ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. And then your first year starting, throw it to Garrett Wilson and Chris Alave and your best friend Jackson Smith and Jigba. Like, that's a luxury to do those things at Ohio State. It's going to be difficult because you don't have your buddies. You don't have your friends. You don't have the old line that's one of the best in the country blocking for you every single play. So it's automatically going to be difficult. But I do think the difficulty and some of the growing pains, I think Stroud will be able to handle it at times. But I wouldn't be shocked if he had struggles early on just because playing in the National Football League, it's a different animal than playing college football. And in terms of that, a lot of that is mental. You know, when you go in and you know you're not going to be in maybe an ideal situation, obviously you're a quarterback, so you're inherently a leader, um, even though you're a rookie on a team. Do you feel like he has that kind of built-in personality to be able to deal with such a tough situation, potentially, depending where he ends up? I do. He's found a way to believe in himself and dig deep into himself and to his roots and what he believes to get him through tough times. He had times at Ohio State where he had to deal with injury. He had some issues early on the first time he became a starter, kind of going through growing pains and injury and just kind of having to stick to what he knows, stick to who he is as a human being mm -hmm. and stick to what he is as a football player to get him through the first three, maybe four games where he started and things didn't go the way people thought they were going to go with him starting, uh, starting at Ohio State. So I do believe he can, but that, I have to go back to what I just said. Like, no matter what you are going into this, being a professional football player, it's a different animal. So as much as I believe in Stroud, the man, the human being, the player, mm -hmm. there are still going to be some ups, some downs. Those downs might be pretty low because you're going up against guys that are pros every single week in practice every single week. And so even though I do believe he can handle those things, I still also understand the human element and the fact that there will probably be some times mentally where he's going to have to really dig deep and ask himself like, What's going on? Why is it so hard? I hit that third and five throw a year ago. Why can't I make it three times in this game? Because the NFL is so hard to play. It really is. And of course, when you come in as a top pick, you are expected to do a lot and maybe unfairly right out of the gate. Is he a type of talent where even if you throw him into the fire, it may take a little bit longer, but you feel like he will be successful at the next level no matter what? Ooh, so... I want to say it yes. To the right, it doesn't have to be the right fit. I do believe early on it has to be the right fit. I'm okay. not saying down the road eventually you're three, 
year four. It will not be something that he can handle. But I do think early on it needs to be the right fit because at Ohio State, there were, I do believe, three games. The first three games he started struggled growing pains. Actually, he almost lost his first game that he started. If it wasn't for a running back injury from Minnesota, Ohio State probably would have lost that game. Um, I think it was in 2021. And so I do think if it's the right situation, there will be some hard times, but I think he'll be okay in those moments. If he goes to a bad team, bad organization, front office is a mess, things like that, we could be looking at C.J. Stroud asking, is he the right guy? And I'll remind everybody, he's a rookie. Rookies yeah. are going to have rookie moments. It's going to be okay down the road. All right, we'll have to see where he ends up. And, of course, Locked on Buckeyes will have more on that for you once the NFL draft is through. All of this is a part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.